never be the same, baby. Do you want I to be good for you? And the answer is you want to make me, make me, make that a baby. That's just been on my. For you, page for a minute, <clears throat> a minute. I don't even know why, but I digress. But what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man. And today, we got Megan Thee Stallion moving like Diddy. I hope the fuck not, because Megan, you, you, you. Megan, don't do this to me. <laughs> but yeah, but my boy, hell yeah, some me an extra fuck with this video. It's heavy. Make sure to go like his shit, go subscribe. Without that being said, let's get straight to the video. It's pop, y'all. Meg good? the Stallion hasn't been having a very good two months of PR or so. Mm. Actually, we could just call it one month because at the end of April of last month, it started going around this lawsuit that she got from a former photographer or employee, and she was accused of abusive work environment including harassing the guy in a, how do you say, X-rated manner. So it said, man. But you can't, you can't handle me like that, man. I'm trying to chop down some motherfucking trees too. No, let me stop. This this is a serious matter. Let me, let me stop playing. His ass might be actually serious. Let me stop. Stallion has been sued by a former employee who alleges she withheld payment and created an abusive work environment, including mm. having SEX with a woman next to him in a moving car. So this whole lawsuit is about her withholding payment. It doesn't really have anything to do with this abusive work environment. I think they're just adding that in there. And it does make for a very, very captivating headline that's going to spread. I'm pretty sure they knew, hey, if we throw this in there, especially with what happened with Tori and Megan, and there are a bunch of people that want to jump on Megan, not in that way, that it'll get more legs no. and perhaps make them quicker to sell. So I understand what they were doing. This guy is not suing her for behaving in this manner. Mm. So yeah, it was a cameraman. He alleges severe and pervasive harassment, including sexual comments with fat shaming insults, as well as loss of earnings. He's seeking unpaid wages and interest on them, as well as damages and penalties under California labor laws. And then obviously her attorney said, this is an employment claim for money with no harassment claim filed and with salacious accusations to attempt to embarrass her. We will deal with this in court. So what he said is in 2019, he alleged that during a trip to Ibiza, Megan began having sex in an SUV they were traveling in together. I felt uncomfortable. I was kind of frozen and I was shocked. I'd kind of just be the overall audacity to do this right beside me. And he claims Megan told him the following day, don't ever discuss what you saw. And he said that he was in a position to watch her do this with another woman. So not only is she engaging in rug munching behavior. Meg, come on now. You could have called my phone, baby. What you doing? What did you do? You could have called my phone. Not just playing. Let me stop. Oh, it in a car with another dude right next to her and the driver there Damn. this is just uncouth to say the least uncouth is it surprising is by megan the stallion absolutely not and he also alleged that she called him a fat b-i-t-c-h and spit your food out you don't need to be eating Damn. <laughs> Damn. yo so after this happens a bunch of people come at megan more people come at the guy just the nature of the game this is a very diddy-esque activity though for megan to be engaging in do i believe this is true hell yeah what mm -hmm. the reason why i say that is what kind of guy we need to know also number one is this guy straight or not because that does color the perspective of whether or not he would share this because what kind of guy would share this even if you didn't like that i personally i don't want to see that like that whole girl girl stuff like get, get that away from me uh, i'm not interested with that being said, even if I was in that position like this guy, I would not have admitted that. I just want my money. And I'd be like, hey, get me paid. So if it's if it's a gay dude, then I could see them wanting to expose her in this manner. But also, it's how people perceive it. So a bunch of people were coming at the guy. They're like, oh, so he's got a problem with that? Uh, I would have wanted that to be me. Just the unbelievable, yeah, unsatiable, and lack of, how do you even say it? At home training by the majority of guys it brings me to a level of disgust mm -hmm. that i can't even fathom to put into words it's sometimes i just can't understand it's like what the hell is wrong with you like, really anyway 
So he gets, not attacked, but he gets clowned on. Some people that don't like Meg already are coming at Meg for this. Regardless of where you stand, this is completely beyond unprofessional behavior. And then this month, it resurfaces this clip where Megan talks about, oh, beating her man. And then she doesn't beat men anymore because... Any mo? You was beating niggas, man? You was putting the beaters on niggas? On them niggas. <laughs> If y'all go what? If y'all go see one of my shorts, bruh, you will understand. As a matter of fact, I'ma make this shit a clip just so y'all can get put them nickels. <laughs> Let me get back to the video. My bad, my bad. Snitch and tell on her and she says that she used to do it and all this other stuff. But just to point out, none of this has had any effect on her career whatsoever, and nor will it have any effect on her career whatsoever. The only thing that could take Megan the Stallion down is if another woman says she was beating her up. That is the only thing. And I do think people are doing too much when it comes to Megan the Stallion, like trying to take her down. It's not happening, dog. They they already chose her. She's the chosen one. And once you paint somebody as a victim, they're not going to go flip around and turn her into the aggressor or perpetrator, even if it's in another scenario where it may be justified that maybe justified from the victim's end that Megan the Stallion was the perpetrator. And we've heard too many stories about Megan being an alcoholic. And I think she has an alcohol sponsorship now, which is. Mm, look at that dress. God damn. My bad. I'm supposed to be professional. I'm so sorry, but it's just something about Meg that I can't hold myself to. It's just... Oh, goddamn. Insanity. But she had a number one song this year. She had that his song, which quickly, it's kind of like a rocket took off, and then it just fell down slowly off the charts. That's what happened with his. She hasn't dropped an album yet, although I think she's supposed to be gearing up for one. Wasn't she on tour, though? Mm -hmm. I thought she was trying to go on an arena tour that hasn't been going tour. too well. What was it called? Yeah, uh, it was, was it the His Tour? The summer, Hot Girl Summer Tour, yeah, May 2024. Let me take a look, actually, at how the tickets are doing. Let's check Memphis, Tennessee, right? Let's find some tickets. Actually, Atlanta, Georgia, right? That's a big market. So is Memphis. Man, no, Ticketmaster won't let me on. Okay, it is what it, I will say I haven't seen any footage from her being on tour and the tour should have been going on for at least the past week or so this is something i don't get it would look so great for megan the stallion if she's selling out arenas and we see the footage it'll shut up a lot of the haters mm -hmm. so when what i assume is when i don't see this footage is that number one they're not putting money behind it for it to show up which i i wouldn't say is a mistake but i don't understand the reasoning behind that or number two it's not looking too hot and then that's concerning as well but Megan Thee Stallion hasn't gone on an official tour for years. So I Getting all your daily nutri- Damn, man. Damn, damn, damn. You're not paying niggas. Now they just lying. I don't know if he's lying or not, but- So I would assume that mm -mm -mm. this would do numbers. I mean, they've got her- Yeah, they've got her doing an arena tour. Would I have put her on an arena tour? I don't know. I've never run a tour. So definitely don't ask me about it. I think Megan Thee Stallion will be fine. I do think there will be more and more things that surface in her past because a lot of people say she was moving mad pre Tory Lanes. So this was 2019 that this happened. So 28, yeah, I would say 2019, 2020, people say she was going, not going crazy, but there are a lot of stories. And I think most of those stories won't actually harm her. Like for instance, like Blueface saying he hit or Lil Skies. I'm not saying Lil Skies said that. I'm just throwing another random rapper name. If all of these rappers say they hit, I don't really think that harms Megan Thee Stallion at all. Like some people, we might just look at it and laugh, but in terms of her fans being disgusted by it, that's not happening. Her trying to spin it, like I've said prior, that doesn't work. And she's better off just letting it rock. She does need to come out with another album or something, though. I mean, yeah, she had that his song. It did well. She's had songs that have been doing well. But it feels like at this point in her career, I wouldn't call it a lull. But I'm wondering what's next. I remember when she had that, qu not quick ascent, but it was, hey, she dropped this mixtape and it went crazy. And she had this song with, was it Cardi B? Was she on the WAP song? Uh, I don't know. She had the song with Beyonce that went number one. And then she got on this movie or the scene in this TV show. I don't know. It was one of those Marvel things. I've never watched a Marvel movie. So, don't. Never watched a Marvel movie. Oh, I don't like you. Oh. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. You my boy, but 
ain't watching a Marvel movie. Oh, you hurt my heart, my nigga. You for that. It was like, okay, whoa, she's doing a movie appearance. Oh, now she's got this big deal and so on and so forth. And now it kind of feels like, okay, what's the next big thing for Megan The Stallion? This tour is a big deal. Now, I wonder if Megan The Stallion has any overseas fans. That's also a question that I have. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Like, all right, so it ain't nothing left. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Um, now, do I believe in that la whole part about him being on the on the bus and having to sit right next to that? I don't know because at the end of the day, it's like even if you was, it's like it's making this down. Like, not too many people are gonna believe you unless you're gay. And then on top, well, not get but. I'm not trying to get canceled about some bullshit, but yeah. And then on top of that, it's just like not mo not many people would care. But if it's about that little money situation, then that's that's something that do need to get addressed. But anyways, go subscribe to my boy. Let's look at these comments. Rug munching behavior. Damn. Can't even like that one. I don't even know. The photographer looks like that guy who always with Cardi. Do he? She's not smart enough to run an operation like Diddy. Come on. <laughs> uh, whoever said that, hey, I'll give uh, that shit's funny. That whole girl on girl theme, I'm not into that. Yasin. No cap, I snitched just off her not let. And me tap. Ah, oh, nah. I got to get out these comments. But anyway, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. Yeah.